Eve Linda Morgan was born in 1855 in London. Around the same time as her birth in 1852, a law was passed that banned any further burials in the City of London and this was because graveyards had run out of space. Following the cholera outbreak and general dirty living conditions in the slums, there had been mass deaths and there was nowhere to put the bodies. This quite horrific background to be born into really resonated with De Morgan and from a young age she wrote poetry about death and about grieving. Later, when she'd abandoned poetry and become a professional artist, she looked at the world around her and saw the prevalent death from malnutrition and poor living conditions continue and she tried to use her paintings to resonate her feelings of grief with these issues in society. On the left we have a painting called In Memoriam where someone has been waiting for a loved one to return and they never have. You see the sadness and sorrow of grief embodied in this picture. The woman's not ready to look to the hopeful sunrise on the horizon yet. Her grief is all consuming. The drawing behind me is called The Mourners and this has a little bit more hope within it. We see that life itself has been depicted on a different plane, almost in a different realm, to the mourners who look sorrowful on this earth. This is de Morgan using her spiritualist ideals to give us a view of the everlasting life of the human soul, and maybe giving us hope that even though we've lost a loved one and we can't physically be with them anymore, we might imagine being with them spiritually or being reunited one day again in the future. Death and grief are such difficult things to go through and these two pictures might help you resonate your own death and grief by looking at the beautiful imagery and thinking of better days ahead.